The much anticipated film Paul Apostle of Christ opens in theaters nationwide today. It's the story of two men struggling against a determined emperor in order to live out the gospel of Jesus Christ and spread that message to the world. Joining me now, the two lead actors from the film, Jim Kavitzel, who plays Luke, and James Faulkner, who portrays Paul. Good morning to you both, gentlemen. Hello, good morning. Good morning. James, let's start with you, if we might. Uh, the Apostle Paul had tremendous influence on history. You mentioned the cathedral in the center of London. He also uh, was the name of my uh, grade school was St. Was Paul's, so it, quite a famous guy. Tell me, is some of the initial clues you got about this man as you first approached the role? The most important thing for me was to read the letters that Paul wrote, which uh, uh, give you real insight into his character and his, abil and his ability to shape others and to, and to lead others. And uh, I drew heavily from his letters. I knew the story of Paul well. I mean, it's, I think, one of the, one of the uh, abiding images from my childhood at, uh, at, at Sunday school was a, a simplistic illustration of, of uh, Saul being struck down on the road to Damascus and God speaking to him. Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me so? And at that point, Saul had been an enforcer for the Sanhedrin. Uh, and uh, persecuted uh, Jews that had de deserted their own faith and turned towards the Christian faith. And then seven years after being struck down and blinded and uh, being uh, told that there was a higher purpose for him, he begins his ministry and, 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 and travels all over the, the, uh, the, the regions bordering the Mediterranean and mm. brings this extraordinary message of love and of hope and of redemption. And for quite a lot of those journeys, uh, Luke and he travel together and they are like two veterans from a, that have served together and, uh, and have suffered and endured great hardship together and, and the film is about the last days of Paul's life when Luke bribes his way into the Namatime prison to bring him uh, succor, to bring him fresh clothing and water and to tend to his wounds and Luke, Jim then persuades Paul to tell his life story and he, he, he takes it down, right it oh. down. Paul oh. says, write it down. And, and, by and that taking becomes it, the Acts of the Apostles. That's right. By taking that story down, he, he changed the course of history. It's amazing. Jim. Those words that Paul speaks for the first mm -hmm. time, that Jim takes down, that Luke takes down, have come down to us through the millennia. Yes. It's a very important moment in the history of the church. It certainly is. Jim, this is your first biblical role since the Passion of Christ. Why did you choose to be part of this film? Yeah. I, I can think of uh, many things. Um, the, the material always comes down to it, but there was a key line in there where he said, um, uh, Luke says, I never, I've never uh, uh, saw Christ in the flesh, but the moment I heard you preach in Trous, I saw Christ in you. And that kind of hooked me right there. Um, mm. the, the, all, all the genres. Um, whether it be a comedy or an action film or a drama, um, they have some some sort of truth in it that, that I'm drawn to. Usually it's some a form of a redemptive kind of quality that we're all looking for a purpose, and I uh, saw that uh, in reading that. Also is that it was, isn't just for people that are uh, religious or have a affiliation to uh, any kind of God, that it, it is open to all people, and is certainly mm -hmm. um, our Lord's message is to all people. Thank you so much. Gentlemen, congrats on the opening of the film. Thank you. Paul, Apostle of Christ, opens Thank in you. theaters nationwide today, folks. Learn more about the film by visiting paulmovie.com. paulmovie.com is a proud sponsor of The Morning Blend.